This screen cast is for the cardiovascular system 2.2.3. So here we're looking at being able to describe the anatomy of the heart with reference to the heart chambers, valves and major blood vessels. So the first thing that we're going to do is to a quick sketch of hopefully what we can remember of the circulatory system from past discussions. So here we have our left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, right ventricle. So the left side of the heart appears much larger than the right hand side. One of the sides of the heart delivers blood to the working muscles so around the body. The other side of the heart delivers blood to the lungs. So it would make sense that the right side, being smaller, delivers blood to the lungs as it has to travel a very short distance, whereas the left side has to deliver to the working muscles, therefore is larger, thicker walls, more powerful. So our left ventricle delivers blood to the working muscles. So here we'll write body. So we get oxygenated blood going in that direction. As the body uses the blood becomes deoxygenated, comes in to the right atrium, so the blood travels in that direction from the right atrium to the right ventricle. Out of the right ventricle to our lungs. becomes oxygenated again and enters into the left atrium which then goes back to the left ventricle and so on. The aorta is the main artery leading out of the left ventricle that takes blood towards the body. The pulmonary vein, takes blood from the lungs to the left atrium. Where we see the term pulmonary, think of lungs. The vena cava is the main vein that brings blood back to the right atrium from the body. And the pulmonary artery is the artery that takes deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle towards the lungs to be oxygenated. So that's hopefully what we remember so far. We'll come back to this sketch briefly. So if we come down to this diagram of the heart, which has more information than what we need, we will see here that our right atrium, our right ventricle, our left atrium, our left ventricle as we would have drawn. We have our aorta which takes blood from the right ventricle, sorry left ventricle we have our pulmonary artery that takes blood from the right ventricle to the lungs. We have, now just to maybe here's our left pulmonary artery as well, both sides of the lungs. We have our pulmonary veins that bring 
blood back into the left atrium from the lungs. The right pulmonary veins as well. And the last one we have our inferior and superior vena cava which bring blood back to the right atrium from the body. So the other things that we need to have a look at are the valves. We have a couple of or three, four valves that we need to look at. The first is the valve between our left atrium. Actually, I'll just label this so we've got left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, and our right ventricle. Here we have what's referred to as the bicuspid valve. It has two parts to it. So that's between our left atrium and left ventricle. Over here between our right atrium and right ventricle we have the tricuspid valve. It has three parts to it. Now the other two valves that we need to look at are our pulmonary valve. The pulmonary valve is between our right ventricle and the pulmonary artery and our other one is our aortic valve which is in between the left ventricle and the aorta. So that's what we have to know of the heart. So if we jump back down here to our quick diagram here we would have the aortic valve here the pulmonary valve between our left atrium and left ventricle we have a bicuspid valve between our right atrium and right ventricle we have a tricuspid valve Again, a diagram that's not named, so we'll go through that one. This chamber in here is our left atrium. This chamber down in here is our, I'll just put a line to it, is our left ventricle. This valve in here, which comes there, that's our aortic valve. So this bit is the aorta itself. Here over on this side, we have our right atrium, chamber down here is our right ventricle, the valve that separates the right ventricle from our pulmonary artery is the pulmonary valve. We still have couple of valves to talk about. This valve in here that separates the right atrium and the right ventricle, that's our tricuspid valve. And this valve in here that separates the left atrium from our left ventricle is our bicuspid valve. Now if you were answering a question in an exam or test, don't use TV, BV, etc. You would need to write down tricuspid valve, bicuspid valve, etc. Now the last thing that we needed to look at 
was the coronary arteries. The coronary arteries are the arteries that feed oxygenated blood to the heart itself. Now these stem from the aorta. It makes sense that they stem from the aorta and not from the pulmonary artery because they want oxygenated blood. So the aorta carries oxygenated blood to the body but you can see these early branches from the aorta actually deliver the heart itself blood.